Mimi nataka kuambia saa nyingine unajua lazima dakika moja tu na mheshimiwa Shinali yuko hapa ndiyo chairman wetu wa wabunge wetu hapa Kakamega. Na atakwambia kutushinda you are smart than us. That is the truth. We mismanaged our own organization. Atuwezi kusema ulituibia kura. We didn't have even an agent of president hata mmoja pale popote. So any smart person has a way out. Na tuwezi kuwa kila siku tukae tukilaumiana tukilaumiana. Let's come together, rebuild this nation, support William Samoei Ruto and get what we want. Mimi ndio nilisema umuhimu wa digital economy. Dunia msima. Because I regulate the world of work in the world world I'm number 2 in Africa. I speak for Africa, 54 African countries. The world is going digital. Kuna njia ingine. Nilisema jana huisero. Na nikasema, we are currently having a problem now of what we are thinking about standard setting of platform economy. Na hiyo ndiyo inataka kufundishwa hapa. And I told our teachers, Mr. Moses Amesema, the walimu wetu, they must go back to class. Wajifunze mambo ya digital economy or e-commerce and how it works. Na nikawambia jana huisero, zamani wale mamanagers wa zamani. Walikuwa wanafundishwa, walikuanga na orientation courses on strategic planning of any type of management or administration. Na theory ilikuwa smart. That old smart was specific, measurable, appropriate, relevant, or time-bound. Smart. That smart today has been overtaken by events. Ukipata muta na kuperega kwa kosa na kufundisha hiyo ni mutu wa zama. Now the current smart we have up to your head is in your smart telephone, smart iPad, smart computer, smart tele smart smart everything that you have that is smart and extended your own head your head must be smart nasikia hivyo to acquire that knowledge of smartness lazima uingie hapa
hiyo mambo ya kuuza mali kwenda kulipa bili ya hospitali tunataka tukomeshe na ndio sababu tumebadilisha sheria ya Kenya ya mambo ya matibabu hawa wabunge tumekubaliana na wao tumetengeneza sheria ine mpya ambayo inasimamia mambo ya matibabu Kenya na iko na mambo manne ya muhimu ya kwanza tumesema tuwe na community health promoters kwa kila kijiji Mnaona hawa watu wako na bendera hawa? Kila kijiji kuwe na community health promoter. Hapa Kakamega Uyu Fernandez, governor wenu na serikali yake ya hapa, wamepanga hawa community health promoters 1425. Na mimi nimetoa milioni 120 ya kupatia equipment hawa community health promoters all of them in Kakamega hii county. Nyinyi mnanielewa? Ndio wawe na equipment ukiwa nyumbani anakuja anakutembelea anapima sukari anapima pressure anapima mambo ingine, anakuambia wacha kukula masiwa mingi wacha kufanya hii kula mboga sio fanya nini akupange pange hapo uache maneno mingi na hao watu wakikuja msikize ile wanasema sio kama tunaelewana tuko pamoja so that tuweze kuzuia magonjwa ambayo tunaweza kuzuia nyumbani isingoje mpaka hata ile ugonjwa tungetumia shilingi mbili tunakaa nayo mpaka tunatumia shilingi milioni moja kwa sababu ilichelewa kutambulika. Nyinyi mnanielewa jameni? Hatua ya kwanza. Hatua ya pili. Tumesema tutakuwa na hazina maalum. We are going to have a special fund under the new uh, 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 health, insur health insurance program. Hiyo hazina maalum inaitwa chronic illness fund ndio itashughulikia ile magonjwa ambayo wananchi wanapata bili ya milioni moja, milioni mbili, milioni tatu. hakuna mtu tena atauza shamba yake ama ngombe yake sasa tutakuwa na hazina maalum ya kulipa gharama kama hiyo ya hospitali hiyo ni hatua ya pili hatua ya tatu tumesema nyinyi ambayo mnalipa NHIF shilingi tano. tutafanya assessment mpya kama mapato yako iko chini kidogo tutakupunguzia kutoka 500 mpaka shilingi 300. Tunaelewana? Namba ine, tumekubaliana vile vile kwa hiyo program ya kwamba tutafanya assessment kwa sababu kuna mwananchi ambaye hata hiyo 300 hana. Si ndio? Ule mwananchi kabisa wa chini ambaye hana uwezo kabisa tumesema ya kwamba hawa wananchi wa chini sisi kama serikali tutamulipia kadi ya NHIF kila mtu aweze kuwa na kadi ya hospitali uende hospitali utibiwe na uende nyumbani bila ya kuulizwa pesa yoyote mimi nauliza watu wa Kizero tuendelee na hiyo mpango ama mnataka kuendelea kuuza shamba yenu tuendelee tupange namna hiyo sasa nimekubaliana na mjumbe wenu na usimamizi wa hii college ya kwamba tutapanga mambo ya hii college sawa sawa kwanza leo tumeleta computers hapa mia moja ya vijana wa hapa na majirani hapa pia majirani hapa pia mtapata nafasi ya kutumia hizi computer hizi computer ni kati ya mipango ile muliona digital super highway mahali tunataka kupanga ajira ya hawa vijana mnanielewa so computer tumelete hapa tumeunganisha internet tumeunganisha stima hiyo kazi yote imefanyika in the last two days si namna hiyo lakini nimeambiwa na mwalimu bado kuna changamoto kama tatu hivi kwanza nimeambiwa ya kwamba hapa kuna walimu lakini wengi wanalipwa na board of management tuko na walimu peke yake sita wanalipwa na serikali wengine wanalipwa na wazazi nimeambia mwalimu mkuu jana tumetangaza kama serikali kuajiri walimu wa Tibet wengine elfu mbili. Mimi nataka niwaambie kati ya wale tutaajiri kabla ya mwisho wa mwezi mmoja ni wale watakuja kusomesha hapa Huisero Technical Training College. So tutakubaliana wale walimu kumi na tatu ambao wanalipwa na Board of Management wote wa wafanye application ndio tuweke hawa katika consideration ya sisi kuwaajiri 
kwa sababu tunataka Kuisero Technical Training College na watu wa Kuisero wapate huduma ya sawasawa na hii college iendeshwe kama vile college zingine zinaendeshwa katika taifa letu la Kenya. Tumepanga vile vile kwa sababu kule Ulaya tuko na nafasi ya vijana waende wafanye kazi. Tumekubaliana ya kwamba wale vijana wanaenda kufanya kazi walipwe kati ya shilingi 1150 na 1200 kila mwezi. Ugo ngambo. Tunaelewana? Muliona juzi tulitangaza kwa gazeti tunahitaji nurses 2500. Tume negotiate nafasi kama hizo nusu milioni. Itaendelea pole pole in the next five years we will have at minimum 500,000 Kenyans working abroad. Kwa sababu tunataka tupanue nafasi ya ajira. Kule ngambo mufanye kazi. Hapa kwa digital jobs mufanye kazi. Kule kwa housing mufanye kazi. Hapa katikati kila mtu afanye kazi. Si tulikubaliana kazi ni kazi. Ama nyinyi ni watu wale wa kujagua jembe. Si tulikubaliana kazi ni kazi. Ya housing ikipatikana si mtafanya. Hii ya digital job ikipatikana si mtafanya. Ile ya kwenda ngambo ikipatikana si mtafanya. Nilisikia mtu ya upinzani anasema analalamika ati oh ati huyu Ruto mbona amepanga ati vijana waende wafanye kazi ngambo angepanga vijana wafanye kazi hapa Kenya wewe kijana ya Kuzero wewe unajali mali kazi inapatikana ikipatikana Kuzero utasi utafanya ikipatikana Kakamega si utafanya ikipatikana Nairobi si utafanya ikipatikana London si utafanya wale watu wa hapa Mumias mimi nilishawapatia ilani mapema Nikawaambia mambo ya ukora na ufisadi na wizi hiyo maneno haitakuwa tena katika sekta ya mambo ya miwa. Na mimi nataka niwaambie tunakamilisha mambo ya Mumias hapa. Nimeambia wale wanataka wale tutawapatia wasimamie Mumias mambo tatu. Number one, walipe wakulima. Number two, walipe wafanyikazi. Number three, walipe bonus kabla ya mwisho vile tunalipa bonus ya chai vile inalipwa bonus ya mambo ya, ya, ya kahawa tunataka wakulima wa miwa pia mwisho wa mwaka wapatiwe bonus kwa sababu hiyo kampuni ni kampuni ya wananchi ya hapa Kakamega Ala ama mnatakaje kwani iko biashara haina haina faida si pale hiyo 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 machine ni ya serikali si nucleus ya serikali baada ya mwaka mmoja si lazima tudai huyo mtu mwenye anasimamia hapo alipa wakulima bonus Eh hey, hiyo ndio maneno. Na hawa nitawakalia ngumu. Hawa. Ah bana bana bana. Tumelipa wakulima hapa. Kwa mfano hapa Mumias. Tulilete bilioni mbili ikapotea. Tukalete bilioni moja ikapotea. Ya mwisho tulilipa wakulima 2.7 billion. Sasa mimi nauliza. Mkulima amepeleka miwa yake Mumias. Si ndio? Alafu imesiagwa. Mkulima hajalipwa. Mfanyikazi hajalipwa. Na miwa imeuzwa. Sasa mnaona hiyo hesabu inaingiana kweli? Ah bana bana bana. Ah ikawa ina maana hiyo. Hawa watu nitawakalia ngumu mbaya sana. Ah kuna. Nasi niliwaambia mambo yangu ni matatu.